spotted tilapia. Oh my goodness. Ow, look how nasty the water is and I just hooked up. Got a fish. Check this sucker out. What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video here. Today, we are back. It's the day after Christmas. Hope everyone had a happy, happy holiday. And we're gonna do something real quick. And that something is feed all the fish. We've done it before on this channel, so I'm gonna make it fast. Oh, hey, piglets. I've got the food. Gone. Just like that. Destroyed it. And as surprising as it sounds, the red tails will eat all the rest, all three of these pieces of tilapia. I just spread it out throughout the pond. Look at them all just chilling in that corner. Here they come, eating a little bit there and there. During the day, they're definitely not as vicious. Nighttime, they'll be like right here eating out of my hand, but they're gonna come out here, eat all this right when I leave. Look at, there's our guppies from last video. You can see the guppies right down there. There's some more guppies. There's one right there. There's another one right here. So that right there is a quick feeding of 90% of my fish. I didn't really get into the tank room, but I fed them all. What today's video is really about is me first, not right now, but I'm going to a lake nearby to catch another bass for the big pond. I've wanted another bass for a while now. I have hinted it to you guys multiple times. Right now I'm actually getting bait with a cast net right here in this lake right here to feed Thump, which is our bass that's in the big pond right now, but I'm gonna need some bait in the well anyway because hopefully we'll have a new bass in the pond by the end of today. Body tilapia. By the way, these ponds that I'm fishing right now, cast sending it should say, they are just packed loaded with tilapia. Like tilapia breed like no other fish and there's just so many in here, it wouldn't make a difference in the population if someone came here and caught 100 a day to bring to their pond. Look at those little minnows. Two little, what I like to call little mud minnows here. I've never seen this water this clear before. If you look behind you, I mean, look how clear the water is. It's never this clear here. These guys are a little small though, so we're gonna let them go. See you later, buddies. <sighs> Looking for the tilapia. It is windy out here. All right, good to go. Thump the 10 pound largemouth right there. Spotted tilapia. Oh my goodness, Woo. talk about not lasting. That thing got destroyed. Now he's shifting it around in his mouth. And why the bass did that, like shifting around in his mouth like that is because they want to swallow it head first so the spines on the fish don't go into their throat. So what they do is they spin it around in their mouth just like he is right now. One more and I'm just gonna release this one. Just right here, and he'll catch that probably later. If not, a week from now, whenever he gets hungry. Holy moly, my hand is bright. All right, never fished this spot before, but I've got the cooler. This is what we'll keep the bass in if we catch one, and my rod. It is so windy out here right now. Looking pretty good though. Oh look, turtle, see him? Look at the turtle, right on the end of that rock. Hey buddy, what's up, bro? Well, this reminds me exactly why I don't fish too much anymore. Um, I'm just trying to catch a simple largemouth bass in my area, and it's this difficult. I've been to three different spots already, casting multiple times, and not one bite. <sighs> I'm not even looking for like a big fish. I just want a fish about yay big to put in the pond, a new one. A fish that we could train and get to eat like full on skyrocketing out of the water. Oh, look how nasty the water is and I just hooked up. I wasn't filming, but look at this. Got a bass. Oh! <laughs> this is intense. Okay, so I finally hooked up. I actually just lost one over there. So I came back over here, cast it across, and he ate it right in the middle. Let me get him up here for you. You know the best part is? That is a perfect size. Not too big, not too small. Thump won't mess with them. Too big for Thump to mess with. Oh, oh, don't flop around. It's already got a nice gut on him. Look how disgusting this water is. He's better off in my pond for sure. They're putting a lot of fertilizer and stuff in here and all these fish are dying because I used to come here and catch hundreds a day in this lake and I haven't caught, this is the first one that I've caught and I walked this whole entire thing. So one fish down, I'm gonna put this in our bucket over there and then if I catch a bigger one, we'll put them back and swap it out. But I think this is it, dude. That is our new bass. It's probably about pound and a half, two pounds and uh, Looking good. 
cooler lid. Oh, flipping out in there. There he is. Got a big old cooler for him. $41.99, that's what we want right there. 30 to 45 gallon filter. Get that sucker pumping on the quarantine tub and uh, we will be set. We got the three chemicals that we'll need to put inside that tub. Now I don't always quarantine my fish because nine times out of 10, if you do trust the person, the water, I should say, that you're buying that fish from, you really don't need to. A lot of the times you don't gotta worry about it, but the one time something does go bad and you don't quarantine a fish and you mess it up and that fish goes into your fish tank, your pond, whatever it may be, it's a disaster. So. With the water looking like this, that green water, um, I'm definitely going to quarantine this bass right here that's in the back of my truck. Now let's officially head back to the house. All right, as you can see, something really cool right now is there's an allergy coat actually growing back now. As you know, I really pressure wash and really clean this pond. And now look at this, we got a brown allergy coming back, which is perfect, that's exactly what we want. Thumps right there, gars up there. Lots of flow in this pond for this fish. Boom, 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 boom four jets down there and then the waterfall so a lot of room this thing is huge when I took the water out of this pond it actually showed the size I was blown away because I haven't seen it in about a year ever since we built it when I took it out to clean it I was like holy moly pop this open these filters are not something I suggest they're actually garbage I just had to get one of these filters for the tub but yeah otherwise those things break on me every time all right there she is working and flowing I do need to take the cartridge out Put that right over there for now. And there we go, I actually moved him into the smaller cooler. So this little buddy, he's so cool looking. I mean, he's just a little tiny baby largemouth bass. He's not too small, but he's big enough to where Thump's not gonna mess with him. And uh, I'm gonna leave him in here for a little bit. He's got filtration air. It's big enough for him to turn around, completely turn around, like watch this, ready? See him turn around? That's all he needs. As long as he can go back and forth and this water's gonna be clean. I'm gonna close it up so he doesn't jump out because that's a big factor because bass do like to jump, so there's that. We will be back for you, buddy. But for now, drop some comments on what we're gonna name this little fella. He's gonna be in this big pond right here with Thump and the guard. So start dropping the names, comment them down below, and in one of these upcoming videos, I'll actually screenshot one, choose it, and put it inside the video. It is bright out this morning. All right, got our fish. Check this sucker out. Oh, she's tucked way back there. I'm surprised she didn't knock that lid off because a lot of the times they jump and they hit it. Let me give you one look at Thumb Jr. I don't know if that's his name, but let's see. Oh, it's much more calm. Okay. There he is. Thump Jr. He is chubby. He, she, I don't know yet. So since this fish has been out here, just like the big pond is, the water temperature is literally the exact same. So what I'm going to do is get our new fish, pick him up, and just put him right on into the big pond. Come on, buddy. Look how beautiful, oh gosh. Look how beautiful this fish is. I'm just being real gentle. See the colors, the pattern? Isn't that sick? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Golden, dude. There's a hint for the name. Something with gold because it is straight golden. Eh. Not too far to run, but I'm gonna release it up here so we can watch it swim away. So long, buddy. It's like he's meant to be in a pond. Look at him, he like he doesn't even hit the rocks. Thump's happy, he's got a buddy. Look at that. They look so cool, the colors are the same. I told you, Thump, Thump is aggressive towards other fish, but I guess when he sees one of his own, and at that size at least, He's not nearly as aggressive. Look, he just went right into the fish cave. Thump, you like your new friend? Yeah, that was a yes. He's getting pushed around by the jets down there. Thump has been with another bass about his size in the past, so he's pretty used to it. Soon enough, before you even know it, we will have that thing trained, hand fed. I might even film a video on getting it trained. That'd be pretty cool, so you guys could do it yourself. Let me know if I should do that. And then you'll see this fish skyrocketing out of the water, just like Thump does. Boom, out of the water. Alrighty, so it's about three hours later. Right down here below me is the bass, and he's doing perfectly fine. I just realized that Thump was with 
a bunch of other bass when I lended them to Deer Me for Dinner for like a few weeks while this pond was being built. Today's positive comment shout out goes out to Sneaky. Whoever sees this, have a freaking good day. So to whoever's watching this, I hope you had a good day or you're gonna have a good day, depending on what time you watch this video, from Sneaky and myself. If you wanna win a positive comment shout out and have your comment in one of these upcoming videos, all you gotta do is drop a positive comment down in the comments below and be sure you're subscribed to the channel. All you gotta do is hit that little red button down there below that says subscribe, make it say subscribe to, and turn your post notifications on so that when I post, you're notified automatically. He's in the cave right there. He's clearly a bit nervous. He's sitting in there. When I first walked out, he was up here doing circles like meow, meow, meow.